So we go to the start for the heat of the Whitehall Challenge Cup between Sydney Rowing Club of Australia and Cambridge 99 Rowing Club on the right of our picture. So the Whitehall Challenge Cup, Coxless Fours, often some exciting steering going on. These two seem to have got away fairly well um, as we take a look here on our right, this crew on the Buck Station from Cambridge 99. Uh, looking like they've, they've wandered around a little bit as they come out of the top of the island, move along quite nicely, passing those red boys and now getting towards the booms and uh, a small overlap still between the crews. Yeah, that looked like a really fast, furious start from both of them, but as they now just dropping into their rhythm. So we saw a decent lead there off the start for the Sydney Rowing Club from Australia on that Barcher station. Cambridge 99 following them here. And uh, the crews have moved further down the course, past Forley, which they went through, we can see, in the time of 3.15, past the three-quarter mile mark, where the crew from Sydney Rowing Club in Australia looked like they had a decent lead and looked like they're fairly well in control as we see them. Light blue kit. Uh, the two rowers from Great Britain in the bow seats, uh, Oscar Olsen and Oscar Carr Middleton. Um, Oscar Olsen won the Junior World Championships gold medal for Great Britain. Uh, Oscar Carr Middleton, also from the UK, rowed at Eton. So plenty of experience on this course. Um, the stern pair of that boat were both at Newington College and highly successful there in Australia as well. So. Um, Pretty impressive starting performance from the crew from the Sydney Rowing Club in Australia. Uh, the crew from Cambridge 99 going to have to keep working now as they come down towards the enclosures, keep it together in uh, what's going to be a pretty tough last few minutes for them now coming into the uh, closing uh, closing few minutes, really, of this race in the Whitehold Challenge Cup. What do you think you need to do now if you're in that boat uh, from Cambridge 99? Um, I'd say firstly, keep straight. Um, they're just wiggling around a little bit and, and yeah, just give it give it your all now. Um, you've got nothing to lose, really. Right. Which it looks like what that's what they're doing. But. Yeah, they're giving it what they can. This is half of the 99 first eight. They're racing the head of the River 8, finishing in 46th place. Um, they're, they're building their experience. Um, the stroke man, Will Young, William Young, uh, he's had one year in the bow of an eight and he's now proud to have worked his way down to the stroke seat in the Coxless Four. So he's setting the pace for his crew. He's going to have to keep it up um, all the way to the line. So we have a look at this lovely overhead shot of this crew from Sydney Rowan Club. And they're just moving really smoothly and in good control of the race. So we get a lovely shot here of the boat. Yeah, they just dropped the rate there and they're just plugging it along. Just seeing a really nice picture of that bow cutting through the water. Uh, there's aluminium riggers attached to that yellow M-Packer boat. And as you say, the crew from Cambridge 99 need to look off their steering, make the, the quickest way towards the finish line they can to make this as efficient as they can. But um, they've come up against a very strong crew here from Sydney Rowing Club coming down towards that floating grandstand by the finish line here at Henley Royal Regatta. And uh, this has been a good opening race for this crew from Sydney Rowing Club in the Whitehall Challenge Cup. They're coming down towards the line. They cross the line, they hear that beat, and I know they've got their regatta off to a, regatta off to a pretty good start as they wait for their opposition. They're now coming down towards the line. Cambridge 99 Rowing Club B. Cross the line, hear that beat. And pain can stop. And we get confirmation of this win for the Sydney Rowing Club from Australia against Cambridge 99 Rowing Club B.